Hey what's up it's Philip welcome back to the channel today we are going to create uh, this uh, simple and awesome snow effect using Niagara and we are going to put this snow into the context by using a free uh, auto material landscape that we, we can download from our marketplace. I also invite you to support uh, this channel by becoming a Patreon. Over there you can find the written step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial and you can find all the values that I used for this tutorial and all the explanations what each uh, property do so you can uh, have this handy uh, when you are doing your uh, snow uh, yourself and also for my uh, hell of a support Porter, I included the project files. The first thing is that we want to create some Niagara system. So go to your content folder, right click and go to a Niagara system. Over here, found the fountain emitter, select it and click create. You can rename this as you want. For example, uh, Niagara system snow and now double click to open it up. Don't worry about the options over here. Just select your emitter, the whole emitter and you can see all the options on the right side. If you select any of these elements, you will get the options just for these elements. So we want to have all the options for our emitter. First thing we want to do is to go to emitter over here and simulation target to be GPU and uh, calculate bounds mode to be fixed. This GPU compute sim will improve performance uh, for our uh, particle effect. This calculates bones mode picked means that we keep our particles in a defined area and we are optimizing rendering efficiency. Make sure to often save your uh, project and let's go with the velocity. Type in add velocity. Under the velo add velocity, we can see velocity speed. We will change the minimum and maximum values. Over here, you can see that our particles are going up. So we want to uh, make them going down. So we need to make this minimum and maximum values to be negative. For example, minus 1000. And over here, minus 850. So our particles are falling down, but they are fast. They are uh, very uh, narrow, so we'll fix that soon. This is the minimum and the maximum velocity. If you set these two values the same, uh, it will always uh, fall in the same value, but we want to make this a difference. So we have some diversity in falling of our uh, snowflakes. Now go a little bit down. You can see this cone angle. This cone angle is super important and very interesting property. I will explain it to you after we create the effect uh, because we want uh, the uh, snow to go left and right and not in a straight line. So make this to be 45 for now. And now let's type in shape location. Uh, this shape perimeter defines the area where particles are spawned, moved or interact. So we control uh, the location with this uh, primitive. So imagine the big sphere that uh, all our particles are inside. We want to increase this uh, sphere radius to something like 4000. And you can see on the left side that we now have something that resembles a snow. Let's go and type in spawn rate uh, to increase the number of uh, snowflakes so spawn rate something like 3000 and it looks better now and they are falling a little bit fast so we need to reduce the falling speed and for that we will use gravity over here on the z axis we have the earth's gravity so we will change this to be minus 25 and uh you can see on the left side, our snow is falling slower. We only have two attributes to change and this will be the point attributes. Over here, we will change this lifetime mode with the min and max values. Uh, so the particles have a chance to hit the floor. Otherwise, they will despawn or vanish before hitting the floor. So change the values, for example, to be 10 or 11 and over here to be 16. And the last thing, we want to change the size of our snowflakes. So just type in sprite attributes. Over here under sprite attributes, you can see that we have a uniform sprite size minimum and maximum. So they are between 6 and 12 in size, but we want to make them the same. So we can make them both 6. But if you want to change, you can change over here just to uniform and keep both values 6, for example. It's easier than having uh, two values at once. Hit save and uh, we are done. We are go back to the our level and drag and drop our snow here. And we have our snow, but if you 
turn around, you can see that our uh, particles disappear. Uh, this is a theme for some other tutorial and I will create an in-depth guide why this happens. But for now you don't need to worry. So to fix that, type in Niagara, select your Niagara and type over here bound and make sure that this bounce scale is up something like 100. And now if you move around, you will see your particles everywhere you go. Uh, just a quick reminder, uh, if you remember the cone angle that I was uh, speaking about, if you go back over here, select your emitter and go to cone, you can see it's 45 degrees. Let's make it 180 degrees. And if you pay attention on the left side, you can see how our uh, snowflakes are going around instead of a straight line. For example, if you move this, change this to zero, you can see how they are falling straight. But if you add some cone angle, you can see now how they wobble around. This is good to add some uh, illusion of uh, wind or something like that. And this is it from our snow thing. And if you have a few minutes, uh, I can show you how to add an uh, awesome auto material, uh, open the map and add our snow to have some context. To do that, go to window and fab. And if you don't have a fab, go to plugins and type in fab. And make sure to install this fab plugin. And we have our uh, library. And if we go MW auto, you can see this MU landscape auto material. Click it and click add to project. Now it's downloading our uh, uh, landscape uh, auto material and you can check out this video if you want to uh, learn about this auto material and how to uh, change some uh, values things to make it look awesome. After it's done you can see it over here, click on it, click on maps and choose this last map mountain range and we can see our mountain range. Let's add snow, go to content and just drag and drop our snow effect here. If I go Outside you can see the sphere. This is the sphere that we described in a shape location section. You can see shape primitive sphere. So you can increase this, uh, this uh, sphere radius or you can change it to be for example box or something like that. But this is just a fine for our scene for example over here. So we press G on keyboards to remove these uh, things. If you select volumetric cloud you can disable it so we don't have any clouds, add some exponential height fog, for example, fog density to be 0.1 to add moody effect. And uh, what we can do with directional light, we can change this source angle. You can see the shadows over here. And we know that uh, when it's cloudy, we don't see these sharp shadows. So we can change this source angle under directional light to be, for example, 10 or 50. And we soften our shadows and Let's go back to our volume with our snow, F11 to go full screen. And we have our uh, effect and our environment. And this is uh, how you make a simple snow using Niagara uh, in Unreal Engine 5. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If it is, drop some likes and comments below and subscribe for more tutorials like this. And see you in some other video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.